Hey everybody, Fred here, TFG Media. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, so if you're an Amazon affiliate marketer, there's no doubt that you've heard by now that Amazon is moving away or no longer going to support their Site Stripe Image and Text Plus Image tool. So that means if you've been using uh, this tool, Site Stripe, to generate images for your affiliate websites, those images as of December 31st, 2023, are going to appear broken. So they're forcing you to use their PA API tool or PAPI for short. So if you want to know how to use that tool to generate your images and go and potentially fix your websites, this is a video you have to see. Let's get going. Okay, so before we get going, I do want to say if you are new to the channel, please do consider subscribing, smashing that notification bell, and giving me a thumbs up if you learned something in this video. Okay, welcome back. And like I said at the intro of this video, Amazon is no longer going to be supporting the Site Stripe tools for images and text plus images. So if you're already an Amazon associate and you've been using the Site Stripe tool to download images to your website from Amazon, those images aren't going to be working anymore as of December 31st, 2023. And they're forcing everyone to use this new product advertising API. Well, I'm not sure how new it is. Uh, or Pappy for short. And, you know, it's not, you know, it's just Amazon, I don't, like, it's almost like they're making it more difficult every day for us to, to generate content and sell products for them. And this is no different. I mean, this API, their Pappy, is a lot of steps in order to get an image. And remember, you can't just go and download an image from Amazon and, and put it on your website. I mean, that's against their terms of service. So if you do that, they could shut you down. And like I say, if you're new to Amazon affiliate marketing, then in order to get this product advertising API, you have to have three sales within 180 days until you're approved into the program, and then you can start using this API. So assuming you've been approved into the program, come on over here to the tools page and product advertising API. And once you're here, you're gonna to wanna to scroll down the screen and you're gonna to wanna to add some credentials. And so of course, I'm gonna blur this out so you can't see because they are sensitive, but you'll wanna do that straight away. Actually, what you should do is pause the video right now and go and do this because it takes about 48 hours for this uh, access key ID here to become active. So pause the video, go do this right now, and then come on back. Okay, so welcome back and hopefully the credential generation went well for you and you've got your access key and your secret key. So you're going to want to keep those things in a safe place. So once you have those and it's been a couple of 48 hours, it does take some time. It took about two days for mine to actually start working. Uh, what you want to do is you want to come down to the bottom of this page now and choose scratch pad. And that's going to open up another page uh, right here and I want you to go to get items. Now, the method I'm going to show you here is the painstaking uh, method of grabbing and retrieving images for your website. Now, if you stick around to the end of this video, I'm going to give you a couple of plugins that you can use on your WordPress sites that make this so much easier. So there's two that I know of, but there's one that I use in particular that really speeds up this process because this, this is a little bit painstaking and... I don't know why Amazon continues to do this to us, but it is what it is. So if you don't want to pay for a plugin, these aren't free, um, then this is the method you're going to use in order to retrieve images for your affiliate websites. Okay, so first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to set a couple of settings here. And of course, I'm using Amazon.com and the partner type, I am an associate. So you're going to want to just leave that on the default. And then you're going to want to populate the partner tag field. And this is really just your store ID. And so I've copied it over off screen here. And I'm just going to paste my store ID in. And you'll know that it's it's good because it's coming up as a green box here, right? And the next thing is now th these are the two sensitive pieces of information that, of course, I'm going to have to blur out again. But when you added those credentials, those are the ones you want. You want the access key in this field. So I'm just going to go over here and, and copy that. There, and I'm going to put that in. Of course, it's going to be blurred out. And then you want your secret key as well. Uh, again, you're going to want to keep this stuff in a safe place uh, for quick reference, okay? And you're going to want to put that in just like that. 
Okay, once you've done that now, what you want to do is you want to come down here to the get item. So I'm just going to scroll down a little bit here to get that stuff off screen. And what you want to put in here for item ID is the ASIN number, which is the identifier that identifies a product on Amazon. So let's on head on over to my Amazon uh, or page here and let's just find a product. I don't know. Let's, um, I don't know. Let's look at some sneakers here. And I'm just going to choose, you know, let's say I want to add these sneakers right here. And the easiest way to find the ASIN number, I, the way I like to do it, is come up right up to the URL here. And you can see it's going to be right in the URL. And it starts with a B. And so if I double click on that, you can see it's highlighted. And I can just copy and paste that ASIN number. So I'm just going to control C that and head on back over to Scratchpad and populate that in. So you can see again... It's a valid number because it's coming up with a green box. Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to select the resources. So hit this little drop down here. And of course, there's lots of things we can retrieve uh, from this tool. Of course, we're mostly interested in images, right? And you can scroll down a bit and you can see there's a field for images. So let's say I want to grab a large image. Okay. And, you know, that might be enough. Just check the image or the of the size you want to grab and just choose that you know or maybe there's also other info like item info so maybe you want the product info as well and so i can choose that as well once you're happy and these are the ones i would typically choose you'll want to run a request okay and it's going to take a second to run that request and you can see the rendered response so it gives me a sneaker uh, it gives me a nice little prime thing. It came up with this NA. Uh, I'm not sure. But what you want to do here is you want to go and grab the HTML response. And so what you want to do is you want to just copy everything that was generated here. And I, I know it's a lot, guys. It's crazy. But just this is what you got to do now, guys. Unless you're going to use a plugin, which I'm going to show you at the end of all of this. Uh, which makes your life a lot easier. But unfortunately, of course, they're not free either. So I'm going to go ahead and copy all of that. And once it's copied, I can save this for future use. Or I can just go over to my WordPress site now and add this HTML to the page and generate my image. So let's do that next. Okay, so here I am in the WordPress back end of my TFG Media website. Uh, and I'm just on just creating a new post somewhere to, to put this image so I can demonstrate how to do this. Um, so I'm just adding a new post. I don't know. I'll just give it a name. Uh, test uh, PA API post. And so you can see I'm using the classic editor. If you're using the block editor, it's no problem. You can just add the, you know, the block that you, blocks that you need or you want to, the way you want to organize it on your screen. I, I like using the, the classic editor still. Um, that's just me. I haven't come around to the, the whole Gutenberg block editor as of yet. Um, however, what you want to do is you want to, you know, click on here somewhere and I'm just going to go into text and <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and paste all that HTML code. Okay. Now when I do that, you can see I've pasted it all in here and now I'm going to go back to visual and you'll see now that I have that, uh, image now on my page. Now, again, it doesn't look all that great really. Um, and if I preview this post. Um, it doesn't look all that great because I haven't done any real formatting or anything like that. But you can see it's there. It's still showing that NA. That must be, it must have tried to retrieve the product information and it failed. No big deal. Um, but now you can go ahead and format things a little bit. So maybe I want this thing centered. Uh, you know, maybe I want to just move it down a bit. You know, do all the regular formatting things that you would do. Um, you know, add a heading. Uh, the world's greatest <coughs> sneaker. Uh, and, and there you go. So that is the painstaking method that Amazon is now forcing us to do in order to retrieve images. Now they're saying, of course, it's going to speed up your website um, and all that good stuff. However, you can see there is a lot of steps. Now, if you're like me and you've got multiple websites and literally hundreds of different posts, oh my God. I'm going to be spending the next, you know, two, three weeks here with, that's left in the year really going through and hitting all my heavy hitters. And 
having said that, what you should do really is if you do have a lot of posts and a lot of websites, what you'll want to do is you'll want to go into your Google Analytics and really start knocking off maybe the top, you know, 20 or 30 pages uh, and fixing those ones first on each website as you start working through maybe those posts that aren't getting as much traffic. Uh, but just know that as of December 31st, 2023, anything you've retrieved, any images you retrieve using the site stripe tool are going to be broken. I know, Amazon. but anyways, uh, it is what it is. And if we want to keep earning affiliate commissions through Amazon, you know, we're really at their mercy when it comes to this stuff. So that's how you do it. I hope that was clear. Again, if you're using the Gutenberg block editor, just add a custom HTML uh, widget, and then you can go ahead and just paste that HTML code in, no problem. Uh, like I say, I'm using the classic editor. I just go into text, paste it all in here, and just it's just miles and miles. I mean, really, Amazon? Really? Uh, this is what we have to do now? Site Stripe? I just had to go click on an image, grab it, download. Oh, my God. Anyways, uh Put some comments in the comment below if you're just as ticked off as I am about this stuff. Uh, but you can see here, I'm getting a nice little preview. I am using uh, Yoast SEO and it's showing that image nice and perfect. And again, this is the way Amazon wants you to retrieve images now using their Pappy or their API. Okay, so when I come back, I'm going to pause the video quickly here and then I'm going to get my screen ready and give you those two plugins that I recommend you try, you know, they are, they aren't free. However, they're going to save you a lot of time and aggravation. Okay. So if you're still with me, that's fantastic. Uh, hopefully you've learned something so far, but I did promise at the end of the video that I would give you two plugins that I know of anyway, there may be more, I'm not sure, uh, but two that I know of that will allow you to streamline this process. Uh, from within your WordPress website without having to go over to Scratchpad in your Amazon associate account, generate all that code, add your keys, generate that code, copy, paste it in, all that stuff. There are some plugins that you can do that right within WordPress. However, they are not free. So the first one I would refer you to is known as AAWP. Uh, and I don't personally use this one, but it looks pretty slick. But of course, it's gonna leverage that API, the Pappy API, but it also does all kinds of other stuff. But the price to me is a little cost prohibitive. Uh, however, maybe for you it's not. Uh, it gives you, you can check out the website. Of course, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time here. I'm not affiliated with these websites that I'm pitching right now or these plugins I'm pitching. Um, I'm not affiliated in any way. I'm just giving you some good information. Uh, but you look here, you know, like for the pro plan for 10 sites, you're looking at 249 pounds. I think that's a pound per year. So, you know, if you can afford that and that's within your budget to do so, um, then by all means, this might be one that you're interested in. So the one I actually gonna show you now and is the one I personally use, and that is known as AMZ Image. And it's a nice little uh, piece of software. And you can see it's got a little YouTube video here. You can check it out. Uh, and what it does, it allows you to just add images right from within your post page without issue. And it's a lot cheaper than AAWP. So you can see if you have one site, it's 49 bucks. And right now they're offering a promotion of 50% off. Uh, so you can get unlimited sites for a hundred bucks. So a lot more reasonable, and this is in US dollars as well. So a lot more reasonable and it, is, it, it does work quite well. And I'll give you a quick demonstration of it uh, right now, just so you can see it in action. So I'm just over at one of my affiliate sites here. Let's just go add a new post just for a test and you'll see this thing in action. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna notice right now is there's this add Amazon images button. Again, this thing is leveraging the Pappy uh, API, so it is doing it the way that Amazon wants it to be done. Uh, so I'm just gonna, again, testing uh, AMZ image uh, with Pappy, okay? Uh, let's just do that. And so what I want to do, so let's go ahead and do it. Let's add an image and same idea here as we did before, but this is much slicker. I mean, you're not leaving WordPress or your post page at this point. And so you want to paste in that a ASIN number. I don't know if I still have it copied. No, I don't. Okay. So let me, uh, let me go back over here quickly. Let's grab something else. That was kind of ugly. Uh, let's go for a desktop computer. Uh, why not? 
It's it's close to Christmas. I'll get a nice new computer here. Uh, let's see. Oh, let's grab that one. Sure. And again, you want to grab that AMZ number or ASIN number, sorry. Uh, and again, right in the URL, it starts with the B. You can see it right here. I'm just going to double click on that and I'm going to control C it. And I'm going to go back in here and put it in here and choose search. And look at this. This is really slick. So this is a nice piece of software, especially now with site stripe being deprecated. Uh, I mean, it's almost a must have at this point. Otherwise, you're going to spend all kinds of time going through Scratchpad, doing it the way I did it. Again, you could do it that way. Um, if, if, if you can't afford to, to spend some money on this plugin, then by all means do it the long way. Uh, but this is much nicer. And not only do you get, you know, the featured image here and you can choose the size, uh, but you can also get other images that you may like better. And so I like this little feature as well. Uh, but let's just choose the medium size. We're going to insert that into the post. And there you have it. It's, it's in the post, no problem. Uh, and again, so hopefully, uh, like I say, I did, I did promise you uh, a couple of plugins that will do this for you much easier than going in through the scratch pad. Uh, I hope that you found this video informative, you know, and I, please do leave comments in the comment section below. You know, <laughs> tell me if you're as mad as I am about this. Uh, and also please do subscribe to the channel, support me. You know, I like to put, you know, helpful information up about anything in affiliate marketing, you know, really anything that can make or save money. Uh, I like to put that stuff up on my channel. So please subscribe and support the channel. Leave lots of comments. Give me a thumbs up, all that good stuff. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next one.